Next speaker is from Hayugui. We have Peter Peng, who is the senior marketing manager, and he will talk about the reliability of TopCon and HJT module secured by innovated encapsulation solutions from HIUV. Peter, the floor Hello, is Michael. Yours. Can you hear okay. me? Yeah, loud and clear. Yeah. Okay, great. So let's start. Wait a minute. Let me open my slides. Can you see my screen? Not yet. Now it's there. All good. Please go it's ahead. Working? Mm -hmm. Okay, then here we go. Hello, everyone. So this is Peter Pan from HiUV. Thanks for uh, Tire News invitation to join today's uh, conference call. My topic is the reliability of TopCon and HKT module secured by Innovated Encapsulation Solution. Uh, so uh, I will share with you uh, the followed five sections include our company's uh, introduction and, uh, the, and the key topic is the TopCon and HKT technology. Uh, so firstly, uh, let me introduce uh, some basic information about HiUV. Uh, HiUV was founded at year 2005, and we start the solar encapsulation business at year 2009. And from year 2012 to 2016, uh, as we know, uh, it, it is a very rapid growth of the solar industry at that time. Uh, we got further understanding regarding the module reliability, such as PID issue. HiUV has developed core responding encapsulate product during this period of time, like the anti-PID fuel, white EV fuel, as well as the co-extrusion PoE fuel. And in year 2021, we, we, we are IPO successfully. And this year, by end of this year, we, we already reached the production capacity by 100 gigawatt. And here is our plant's location. Uh, Shanghai is our headquarters and R&D center, and other plants are located at Taizhou, Shangrao, Zhangjiagang, Changzhou, and uh, Xintai. Uh, this year, Taizhou and the Shangrao plants are e expanding, so it helps us to reach the 100 gigawatt capacity. For next year, we also have the new plants uh, plan in Jiaxing and uh, Zhenjiang, and overseas as well, it is in Vietnam. And our customers, actually, we already almost covered all the top module makers like Jinko, Longi, Trina, JA. Furthermore, we also keep very close uh, cooperation with the power plant owner to share the recent uh, module technology trend with them. So let's move to the today's key topic, the top car and HKT technology. Uh, as we know, encapsulate fuel is one of the key materials to support module 25 years lifetime. Why technology deve developed from BSF, uh, PERC, and now is TopCon and HJT. Encapsulate fuel also developed, followed by this uh, cell technology. So for EVA fuel itself, maybe it's not very obvious by the visual check, like the transparent EVA, uh, the current one looks the same as we produced 10 years ago. But actually, in, inside the EVA's formula, even the structure is totally changed to fulfill this new cell technology to support this module reliability capability. Okay, so for the currently, it's very hot, the TopCon and HJT uh, technology. So here I just highlight some key factors. How we, how we innovated the encapsulant fuel according to the cell technology. The first one is the top count cell. As we know, the, the, the popular one is N-type. So the preservation uh, layer is to the front side. So at the front side, we need to enhance the NTPID capability. Secondly, the front side also used the, uh, not the pure silver paste, we are used the aluminum inside. So this also inquired to enhance the water resistance to reduce the risk for long-term corrosion. At the top count backside, the amorphous silicon layer and the tunnel oxidation layer are also sensitive to water. So it also required our encapsulation film to enhance the water resistant capability. 
for the HJT cell, uh, it's totally a different technology compared with the TopCon and the PERC. Like the ITO layer, it has a very low adhesion property. So it required our encapsulation film to increase the adhesion between the cell and our films. And also the HJT cell is very sensitive under the UV light. It required encapsulation film to develop the UV block or UV transfer technology. And also HJ, HJT cell, as we know, is currently is still expensive than the top car and the perk. So the cost down is still very necessary. So for the smart wire or zero BB technology is very important for HJT to reduce down the silver paste consumption. So for this technology also need, need to develop the special encapsulation fuel to support. So as you see, actually the different cell technology has bring a lot of these different requirements and the different uh, solution for our encapsulation fuel. Uh, higher we always aim to solve module makers key problem via our excellent innovation encapsulant solutions. Uh, here, I just list some samples to share with you about the, the current encapsulation fuel, the risk. This page is showing that we are doing some mini module in our lab with top -down, uh, cells. So the, the sample is by the top count cell with the EPE encap encapsulation fuel. We are, we are doing two tests. One is we put the mini module in the oven, set at 200 degrees for five hours. So after five hours, we can see actually by visual, you can see some bubbles on the, uh, on the surface uh, for the uh, high UV EPE as well as another manufacturer's EPE. And the second one is a fresh cooker test. We put the same, same, same samples to the fresh cooker test for 96 hours. After the test, we are doing the ER checking and you can see it's very obviously uh, after the, the test, they are, the ER shows a dark area, both the high UV EPE and the manufacturer ACE EPE. And uh, we are to, let's talk about a, a bit about the pure PoE. Actually, pure PoE is very excellent, have excellent reliability performance. It is a reliable solution for top car modules. Actually, uh, currently, module makers also use this uh, solu solutions. But here we want to highlight is the pure PoE still have need to improve at the module process side. As we know, the pure PoE is easy to slippery. So in our module production line at the assembly process, it may have some process defect risk. Like the picture one is the whole matrix is shifted on the conveyor belt because of the moving. And the picture two shows the string to string distance misplacing during the lamination. And the picture three, four, five is some bubble issues uh, around the junction box mounting area. Uh, for the HJT, uh, actually high UV EPE already provide a lot EPE for our HJT customers. Here we just did a very interesting test in our lab. This is a compound test UV plus DH. We just do a comparison between our EPE and other manufacturers EPE. Actually, you can see after this compound test UV plus DH, others EPE may have some, 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 some defect. It's a white spot. That means it's already have some delamination between the fuels and the cells. But high UV EP is still, EPE is still okay after this compound test. So, here, let me introduce our solutions for the top count modules. Here, because of the, the, the top count modules risk, we have developed a totally new design film. We call it EXP. So at this slice, at the left bottom, you can see the EXP structure. It is PoE layer plus EVA layer. So you can understand as this is two layers co-exclusion film. In the middle, we have an X layer to strengthen to strengthen the bonding capability because you know the PoE and the EVA is totally different property. So you need to combine these two material together. So you need something, some know-how inside to 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 bonding them. 
So what is the EXP advantage? The first one is we already test a lot in our own lab, as well as at our module customer site by the IEC standard. So we already qualified that the, the EXP is totally can meet the NTOPCAR module's reliability requirement compared with the pure PoE. The second one is the EXP product can reduce the PoE resin consumptions. The third one is it can be flexible to reduce the low grain fuels. So it was very friendly for the further cost down requirement. So right side is our proposal for the NTOPCAR module encapsulation solutions. For the single glass, we can choose the front side EXP and the back side is white EV dash S. Dash S means it's a high water resistance type. Okay. And the double glass is we can use the top is the EXP. And the back side, we can choose the transparent EVA dash S. The same, the dash S means the high water resistance uh, type. So here we showed some PCT results with our EX, EXP samples. We have put three different samples with different encapsulation fuel. So it's very clear. The first one is EPE plus YEVA. The second one is EXP plus YEVA. And the third one is EXP plus YEVA dash S. So the EL shows a very clear result. For the common solutions, after PCT six, uh, 96 hours, there are already some dark area at the cell edge. And after 192 hours, it's become more serious. For EXP plus YEVA, so it's a bit improvement, but we still can see some, 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 some edge dark area after 192. And for our EXP plus YEVA dash S, after 192, yeah, it still shows okay. Okay, finish the top count topic. Let's move to the HJT topic. So as mentioned above, the HJT technology is totally different with compared with the top count and the perk. So the encapsulation fuel solution is also totally different. So the first one I want to introduce is the UV light transfer fuel. Actually, this is also very hot topic currently in our industry because the HAD cell is very sensitive to the UV light. Then we can use the UV block fuel to prevent this risk. But once we use the UV block fuel, that means we will have the power loss because the light transmission is lost. Okay, that's why we develop this UV light transfer fuel. We can transfer the UV light to blue light or red light. At the initial stage, the UV light transfer fuels still facing some challenges is because of the, the long-term reliability on the UV test. But currently, we already have some methods to conquer this. TIUV also developed this uh, UV light transfer fuel for, for a certain time, and we already qualified internally. It has a very excellent durability performance. Uh, second one is the uh, zero BV technology. So as mentioned above, it's also a very, very key technology for HJT because of the cost. So zero BB or smart wire technology can reduce down a lot about the cell paste consumption. So it will, it's, it is a very good way to reduce down the HJT cost. But when we use the zero BB technology, we need a special encapsulation fuel to support this. The reason is, we can see at the right side, the picture, the cross-section pictures. Uh, for the zero BV technology, the ribbon with the cell is not by the soldering method. It can be used by the ECA or the tape. So before laminating, actually the combination between ribbon and the cells is not stable. So during the lamination, once the film is melting and floating, so the fuel may be go through to the bottom of the ribbon. So it will make some isolation between the ribbon and the cells and uh, have some electricity conductivity issues. That's why we need to develop a new encapsulation fuel for this technology, which required a little bit low speed floating 
to support this. So we already developed these fuels and we also do some do a lot of tests. At the left side is the visual inspection picture. After lamination with our special fuel, we can see the, there is no any ribbon movement. And by the ER checking after, before and after lamination, we also can see it's very clear. No any black dot or any black uh, area. That means the electricity conductivity is keep very good. We also do the TC200 test. After TC200, we also see it's a very good result for this special fuel. So let me do a short summary. Uh, we have talked about a lot of these cell technology. So we can see actually the fuel is always triggered by the cell technology, like the perk the top one, the HAT. Actually, the different cell technology will need different encapsulation fuel solution to support them to make high quality product. So as a key encapsulating fuel supplier, HIV has a buffed encapsulant fuel with excellent long-term reliability performance for all these cell technology. So here is my today's topic. Thanks for your listening. Thank you. Great presentation, Peter. Uh, very interesting, all these new products and mm -hmm. developments you're showing. I don't go now into any questions because you will be on the panel soon. So I think uh, we rather save on time. If there are any questions in the meantime, it would be great if you could um, answer them on the chat. Yeah, that would be kind. Okay, thanks a lot and see you soon again on the panel.